Hello everyone. Welcome to Sajuna Academy. Today team I'm going to take you through uh, uh, the getters and setters methods in Java. When I talk of getters and setters methods in Java, team we will be talking of encapsulation. Um, the concept of, of encapsulation rather in Java. Uh, what is this concept? This is uh, when we want to hide the sensitive data from the users. How do we hide this sensitive data from the users? We hide it by just by just declaring the uh, attributes or the instance or your variables for your class as private. If you declare them as private, you'll be actually making them inaccessible uh, outside that class. So how can you access those variables or set those variables uh, outside that class? That's when we use the concept of what? Uh, of getters and setters methods. So how do they look like? This is getters and setters methods. They are just like other methods, but only that uh, for getters method, uh, you'll be actually using it to get the value of uh, of a certain variable, uh, of a certain instance of your, of your class or a variable of your class, you see. So for the setter method, we'll be actually using it to set the value for your attribute of your class or um, the instance of your class, you know. So uh, the setter method, it actually takes a, a parameter, you know. It is a void method and it takes a parameter. And uh, the getter method is uh, actually a type method. It retains a certain type, you know. It's either it's in, in danger or even string or whatever type of attribute that you have, but so that uh, setter, that getter method, it needs to retain a certain type of what? Uh, of your variable or a certain type of, uh, of what? Of the instance of your, of your class. So let me show you uh, how do we actually uh, do this in Java. So I'm going to create this, uh, uh, let me say it's a uh, student. Let's create our project. I'm sorry for the background noise too. Uh, let me create this project, student. Okay, so within this, let me create a class. A class. I want to name it just student. Like I want to get the student details or what, but here I want to also include the main method. So here. I think to achieve the issue of encapsulation in Java, you need to create uh, your variable, maybe let's say it's a string variable, it's a private name. Then let's say it's the age for our student, it's private. Uh, sorry, uh, it's an integer age. So we have actually made, uh, we have actually made these uh, two variables or two, these attributes of a class inaccessible outside this class. So how do we access them outside this class? So we need to use the concept of getters and setters method. So let's first um, create a setter method to set the, the value uh, for this uh, for these two attributes. So it needs to be, it must be a public method. It's a what? It's a setter method. So it's a void method. It doesn't retain anything. And uh, it's here to start with a set. It have to start with a set as name. Um, and then followed by the name of your variable. Like you want to set the name of your variable, want to set the value of the name. So it says set name. And then don't forget the issue of camel case in Java, uh, the naming conventions of methods in Java, you know. So you start by the small letter and then the next word or the next word, it will be the initial capital letter. Then as usual, it's a method just like this. So you are going to set what? The name what yeah it, it needs to take a parameter here so it needs to take a parameter string let's say uh, 
name here. If you do this, the compiler is not going to know is this the name, is this name that you want to set to this name, or is this name that you want to set to this name. So you are saying here you need to use a this a, this keyword. This keyword we use it uh, to refer to the current object which is accessing that method. So you are saying you want to set this name to add to this name. So let's put here a new name so that it will be not confusing. Let's say new name. So new name here, just like this. So we want to set this new name to this name. You see, this is the setter method. And then for let's do the same for the age public void is set age. And it you have to take a single parameter here which is actually an integer uh, let's say new age for our variable name then we use the, this keyword to refer to the what uh, to this object to, to the instance of our object and then we set it to new age just like this so this is our set uh, our setter method so let's do the getter methods Getter method will be also a public method, but it has to retain a type, so it is not a void method. So, for a name, it is a string method, it retains a string, and also it starts with the get as getter method, it starts with what with the get, and then followed by the name of the attribute or of the name or of the uh, variable. So, it's get name. And then it doesn't take any attribute here. It doesn't take so it doesn't take any parameter. So public string uh, get name. So it have to retain a what? It have to retain this dot name. It have to retain our name there. It have to retain our name. So that's it. So this is the getter method. Whenever you call this method, it actually retain the value of the name. Whenever you call this method, you'll be actually inserting or setting the name uh, into this variable, this name. So let's do also the uh, getter method for age. So it will be public. Um, this one it retains an integer, it starts with the gate, get what get h. Then it doesn't take anything there and then you have to retain what this dot h. Okay, just like this. So how to use this method? You know, so let's say let's actually use them in our main method. Let me create uh, the new object for our students. Student um, is must be so as to new student. Let's create our student object. Okay. Also, let's create our scanner object just to take the input scanner. Input must be go to new scanner. Uh, object which is a uh, csg dot in input stream. so we need to import this scanner object okay we need to import this scanner object here so how are we going to do it we are going to uh, this out control and control spacebar. Then uh, for system dot out dot it's just a shortcut. Then you uh, you want to ask the user to enter name um, to enter student name. This is student name, and then you want to actually set the name 
to this variable. Now you just do uh, uh, the method calling like is dot um, uh, let's set this um, using set method. Let me set our name to what you want to set our name to input dot next string. Okay, so whatever the user is going to type in, you are going to take it using the input. We using the scanner object and then we set it to what? We set it to our name, just as clean as that. So we can also set the age by firstly ask. Um, so this is. I want to do a short a shortcut. Wow. Yes. So asking the user and student edge. Student edge. Just like that. And then we do set set edge. We set it to what? To input dot next. Here it's next integer. It's next integer. Okay. Whatever the user is going to type, but it have to be a what an integer. And then we set it to what? To our age here. And then to access them, you can actually print it out. Um, it's actually, this out. The same student details, just like this. Student details. Uh, let me do this. Uh, let's print our our student details. This out, just like this. Then name here. Let's put our name. Let's say student. We use the get now, the getter method. We just get the name. And let's just um, add the age there. The age is s.get age. Just like this. And the let's run our program and, the, and see what do we get here. You see, enter student name. Let me say, is okay. See, and my age is 24. You see, it will print name is equal age 24. So, Tim, this is how do we use our setter method and uh, getter method. So you have to know that the setter method actually takes one parameter and it is a void method. The getter method, it doesn't take any parameter, but it retains a certain type of your what, of your variable or of your attribute, of the attribute of a certain class. So we use this to achieve the concept of encapsulation in Java. So I want to say thank you team for actually watching this uh, tutorial. So, um, if you want more tutorials just like this, so consider subscribing to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you get a notification from this channel. So I want to say thank you too.